A boat loaded with Rohingya and Bangladeshi migrants was accepted on Indonesian soil following pushbacks to sea from three Asian countries in recent days. Their rescue came as Indonesia and Malaysia agreed to provide temporary shelter to thousands drifting at sea. Last week, Thai officials pushed them back into international waters after fixing the motor and giving them three days' supply of food and gas. Thai Navy Lieutenant Commander Wirapong Nakprasit explained the policy. First of all, we look at the humanitarian need. That's what we're doing now. That's what we always do. But the most important thing is the internal security of our country. If they come across into our waters, they are breaking the law as illegal migrants. Observers estimate that thousands more are still being held on trafficking ships along the coast to evade arrest. Some activists and foreign aid organizations have joined the search, hoping to assist the Rohingya who face poverty and persecution in Myanmar and starvation on the seas. Matthew Smith of the Fortified Rights Human Rights Organization says Myanmar, also known as Burma, needs to be held responsible for the crisis. It's our view that Myanmar deserves to be downgraded to tier three status uh, in the annual TIP report. Uh, the reason for that is that human trafficking uh, in Myanmar um, uh, has been very problematic. This entire exodus of uh, Rohingya from Myanmar involves human traffickers, and the root of that is in, is in Myanmar. Conditions on the boat are dire, especially for the children, many of whom fled with their parents from rundown relocation camps in Myanmar's Rakhine state. 13-year-old Muhammad Abdul, who jumped off a boat last month, tells of the horrors he faced. <laughs> While we were on the boat, they kept us below deck. When we asked for water, they didn't give it to us. And the guards beat us, and some people died from those beatings. I saw men and children's bodies thrown into the sea. As more boats packed with Rohingya are reported leaving Myanmar, many activists wonder when the country will be held accountable. Steve Sanford reporting for VOA from Lippi Island in southern Thailand.